Hey, the war engineer here to be too. Medean Cliff Miner's blue team. Has Dragon is a plague champion. Starts off range combat with a damage of a time bolter. Can get melee weapons and some decent utility and support. Can build turrets and repair, but is very slow. This is the Alpha Legion elite scheme, I believe. Alongside Varda is a chaos sorcerer, offensive and disruptive hero with awesome battlefield manipulation and control. Some Black Legion over here. The elite scheme also, I think. Let's have a look at these fellas. Yep, spiky heads. Red team, some Space Marines, Tybros, with a Force Commander, very good offense, fights in melee combat, can also tank, disrupt and support with buffs. And alongside the Max is an Apothecary support hero that fights in melee combat by default begins with a targeted heal and a passive health regeneration aura. Blood Ravens, is this the last time we're going to see Blood Ravens in a game? Dawn of War 3? Are there going to be any other games with some Blood Raven action? Ordinarily, you'd expect Chaos Space Marines to have the upper hand in these opening fights, but uh, Red Team have a Force Commander, and Blue Team do not have a Chaos Lord, so he could be the difference in these opening fights. Just does so much for you in that first engagement against Chaos. Against everyone, really. Sorcerer consuming one of these heretics. Team Bolts flies out, doesn't do a whole lot. Those guys in cover should have shot it at these fellas. Heretics getting in a, maybe a bit hastily. Could have stayed back, supported with some worship. Waited for a better opportunity than run into double marines and an apothecary there. Sorcerer doing some work though, and they did distract stuff for a while. Always hard to say what's the more efficient play. Scouts getting involved now. Apothecary being aggressive. Sorcerer taking shots. Where's the fourth model though? Capping a VP. Oh wow, nice grenade. Maybe, perhaps, we're not expecting the sergeant that early on the field. Yes, maybe, perhaps. Doom bolts flying out, but um, Apothecary's army, with some help, admittedly, sees off the sorcerer. What is Hasdragon up to? Hasdragon was there with some marines too. Played champion, was back at base, so were these heretics. I guess the force commander smacked him around a bit for the Emperor and all that, gets the VP, now goes for that wreck point on the southern edge. Heretics can't really catch scouts, scouts are very good tool to use against heretics. If you're quick enough and good enough you can dodge their grenade launcher shots and also just run away from their melee. Triple cap now for the red team. Very strong start for the Marines. These guys with a flamer too. Gonna try and get on the power covered by Devastators. Shaky start for the Chaos players. You do have Noise Marines and Havocs now though. Both coming to defend. Noise Marines doing their thing with their Sonic Blaster. And shut down ranged weapons after a few seconds of firing at them. Trying to get in on the Devastators, there it is, but nothing really to follow it up and drop to model there. Bad approach, trying to force the issue a bit too much. Oh, look at this, Scout's coming in for a sneaky grenade. Bad for those Havocs, only dropped one model there. CSM also dropping models, the Apothecary has to heal himself, 411, 487. Very good start by the Red Team, have played it so well. A measured approach on the uh, power, covered it with the Devastators. Scouts coming in to flank. Those were Tybros's scouts there. Assault squad on the way. What about the first scout squad? Just default. Capping goons right now, I guess. Heretics going south for that wreck point. Blue team now starting to push out. Raptors on the field for Varda. Gonna make a big difference, can get on the Devastators and also the uh, Marines, of course. Father Carey has got his Sanguine Chainsword glowing green. Did it always glow green? Is that green? Looks green. Gives him a self-heal on hit. Also gives you a self-heal for pistol hits, although it's not quite as large as the chainsaw hits. Assault Squad jump. These guys need to cough and eat and then run away. There it is. Knocking back nearby units, both allied and enemy, but now you need to retreat, fellas. Uh oh. Stay in play too long. Should be out of there already. 
They're going to take hits and unnecessary losses. Might lose the entire squad here. Two models dropped when they didn't need to be. That kind of thing adds up over the course of the game. Maybe even the entire squad here. I think he's going to lose them. One hits point. Oh, they survive. Just too far away for another bolt pistol shot there, those fellas. Blue team now have the mid. They have some Raptors. They have some Havocs. They have some Noise Marines still. Heretics might want to get an Aspiring Champion or might want to get a Plague Sword or something because his Assault Marines are going to bully you. South. Scouts capping. Force Commander pushing forward. Trying to have a look at the power, maybe. But how long it will take him to bash the power with his Chainsaw. These guys can't quite get the cap. Took a bunch of damage there and run right into some Raptors. Raptors do more melee damage by default than Assault Marines, but they do have less health. And their jump is more expensive in terms of energy. 395, 464. Grenade. They've all been pretty good so far. Did a decent job of dodging it. Still dropped double heretic or two heretics, I should say, but um, those guys die a lot. Just point a bolter at them and there's like a 50% chance that they'll die. Drop pod. Marines will get out and start shooting stuff. And uh, get into trouble here. Heretics in. CSM should be forcing close combat as well. But they're not. Those guys really should be in there with their eternal war. They would have got a model off those tactical marines for sure. Now they close in for melee combat. And uh, Tybros is keeping these guys around way, way too long. Look at this. They're reinforcing off the drop pod. Drop two models. I guess it worked out in the end. Don't listen to Indrid. Those CSM should have been in melee way sooner though, I think. 354. 464 is now going to get on the power with a flamer. With assault marines. Oh, sort of on death. Or the plague sword is in play. But I don't think he's going to be able to get rid of Tybros very easily. Where is Varda? Need some help, and here he comes. 326 to 464. Triple cap for red team. There's the jump. Getting stuck in now. Havocs are set up to cover the approach of the Max. There's that. Plague Sword getting stuck in. Power melee damage that ignores melee resistance and creates zombies on kill. And very useful to create Assault Marine Zombies because you can do that disrupt the enemy with a jump. Oh, look at this. They might get a kill on these Assault Marines. They do get the kill. Big turnaround. Big turnaround. Can they also get a kill on the Force Commander? 24 hit points. 39. Yes, they do. Has Dragon lost his Noise Marines, though. Blood Crusher on the way. Power bashing over here. The Sergeant is not getting involved. This happens when you get a squad leader while the squad is already shooting at something. He will not take that attack order. He'll just supervise you. Supervise things. The Plague Sword now having a go. Uh, drop Pod. You don't get a zombie Drop Pod. But he should get some red or something. Breath of Noble Heal. Do you get XP for taking on Drop Pod? Looks like he didn't. I don't think he did. Got 15 red though, that's not bad. Heretics allowed to get in on these scouts. They used their infiltration too much to be able to throw their grenade there. That's a shotgun blast though. Plague Marines, uh, Plague Champion I should say, starting to have Growing influence in this game with that sword. Force Commander's down. I was going to say, are we going to see the Thunder Hammer to help deal with the Raptors and knock this Plague Champion around? Gets himself into all sorts of trouble. Might go down here. Blood Crusher getting hits and he does go down. Sloppy play from Has Dragon. Just as I was saying, how well the Plague Champion is doing. The Curse of Indrid strikes again. Some Noble Worship. Worship been a bit close, but the Blood Crusher should push back these Stone Guard veterans. As you can see, they have their Vengeance rounds loaded in. You can tell by this. I'm not sure what that icon is meant to be. 
that decorator there. Some kind of missile or something? I'm not sure. But it's anti-vehicle damage and also good versus super heavy infantry. Now switch to their Hellfire, but here we see a Chaos Dreadnought. And Blood Crusher doing work. Look at this. Las Cannon now getting shots at all. Blood Crushers do not like Las Cannons. Take away their mobility and do big chunks of damage to their 600 hit point frame. A rare sight here. Stone Guard Veterans using their Dragonfire rounds to do extra damage to a unit in cover. These guys are going to try and close for melee combat, which is not a good idea because these guys have their sergeant. So they're outnumbering you. And uh, here comes a bunch more marine, marines. 149, 464. You have to cap the mid, fellas. What is going on? Sorcerer's stabbing a node instead. Okay, we can't, we can't question his great plan here. Raptors with their Aspiring Champion almost punching a hole into the Apothecary, but he does get away. Power Fist is no joke. Tried to Retreat Grenade, a decent attempt, but a little bit off target. We have a Space Marine Dreadnought. Starts off as a full-on close combat walker, as opposed to the Auto Cannon Chaos Dreadnought. So that guy backing the hell away because this Dreadnought will do more melee damage and has melee resistance, so there's no there's no fight to be had there for the Chaos Dreadnought in melee. He needs to get out of it. Those fellows tried to throw a grenade, but they went down. Those scouts did so well for Tyberos. Oh, look at this. Dreadnought was teleported out of trouble by the sorcerer using warp. Well played by Varda. Might survive now. And here comes... A Chaos Dreadnought with Mark of Corn, a much more fair fight for this guy. No Blood Rage. Why aren't you using Blood Rage, buddy? That's what kind of might get a shot. Last Cannon is here, too. Looks like it'll be okay. We have Armor of Purity for the Apothecary. I was going to say maybe get combat stims up to buff your Last Cannon. Improved medical equipment. And uh, they've got a lot of vehicles to deal with here, the Space Marines. Tier 3 for the max. All we got out in Tier 2 was uh, Plasma Cannon Devs, I think. Vada looking to concede, really. They're doing pretty well, fellas. It's not always easy to judge exactly how you're doing, because you can't see what the enemy team has. Not always easy to keep track of what they've lost, especially when it's not a 1v1 and your teammate is killing stuff. Raptors getting in. Just a massive threat to that Apothecary now. 101, 442. Blue team have got a lot of catching up, but um, they've, they've got stuff. For sure, they've got stuff. Vardis Dreadnought getting repairs from the Plague Champion. Oh wow, Blood Crusher gets hit. I thought he was going to survive. Plasma Cannon took him down. Some Marco Zink CSM. That very, very dangerous damage type against Marines, Inferno PvP. Dreadnought in your face, fellas. There is a last kind of name. Michael Zinx Havoc's getting shots in now. Heretics, probably the worst unit. Default Heretics sent into a Dreadnought. Not, not the best fight for those guys, let's say. Can they finish off this Dreadnought here? Raptors are there, surely. They can turn around and get a Power Fist hit or a Melt Pistol shot or something. There's the Emperor's Fist. Here comes a Chaos Dreadnought. Smack. Of course, one of doing his best to try and smack the Raptors around. And they leave the Dreadnought alone. Confident that the Chaos Dreadnought will get the job done, and it does. Has Dragon is now floating resources quite a lot. This is like Indrid level float. There we go. I guess it wasn't floating. We're just waiting for tier 3. Speaking of tier 3, Tyberos also goes. That power is completely bashed. It's worth noting. For the Emperor on the uh, Devastators there. Global ability of the Force Commander giving increased damage output. 
percentage base damage of course really good when the weapon is doing a big chunk of damage per shot down goes the apothecary blood rage used to good effect there to get the kill now you have control back need to run away south side heretics capping good job keeping them alive they've got level two as well hold on fellas raptors suppressing and those marines got a bit minced dreadnought has done well here for vada tier three for everyone aside from vada and here's a land raider edema on the way for the max double cap for blue team can they cap the mid they are wary because of the plasma cannon the raptors though could jump it surely Just jump the raptors and cap it Sorry, jump the plasma cannon and cap it. Sniper scouts from the max. How long has he had those for? Some power bashing being done. Raptors are going to flank around it, looks like. Didn't want to maybe take a shot before they could jump. Terminator Force Commander in play from Tiberus. And Raptors get rid of this stuff. Can they cap now? Havocs, are you going to cap, fellas? What are you up to? What are you up to? I don't know. Oh, they're sitting up here. Why are you? Got a direct hit, I think, on the Force Commander. Maybe they knew there was a Land Raider coming. What's going on south side? Chaos Dreadnought with Mark of Corn now for Has Dragon as well. What about Mr. Plague Champion? No armor war gear. Level 4, though, he's done well. Force Commander with his Terminator armor. Making a nuisance of himself. Got so much health. Although it is heavy infantry armor now with the Terminator armor equipped. Not super heavy and not commander. 101298. Landry Redeemer in play. Needs some more anti vehicle, I think, fellas. Like long range anti vehicle. Here comes another Chaos Dreadnought, perhaps. Mark of Zinch for that tasty missile launcher. I think he's only level 3. Started off very strongly. Faded a little bit here, maybe. Perhaps I'm being harsh. What did you get? Oh, I didn't get a weapon upgrade yet, the Terminator Force Commander. Devastators are capping. Did Blue Team ever cap the mid? I don't think they did. I don't think I ever saw them try. Overly wary, maybe. Here comes a Predator tank for Tybros. Blood Rage Dreadnought getting stuck in. Takes out some Devastators. There is a Nurgle Imperial Abyss. Oh wow, minced those Marines. Were those the Stone Guard? No, those are the regular Marines. I think those fellas had the missile launcher though. A lot of damage put on the Land Raider too. Sorcerer needs to run away, you're in the way. Mark of Zinch Dreadnought getting shots. Chaos Dreadnought with Mark of Corn getting stuck in. Here comes another one. This thing's down. This thing is down. There we go. Double cap for red, but um, they just took a heavy blow. And might wipe out these Devastators too. Looks like maybe they will survive. South. Big champion trying to get his VP back. Marines with the missile launcher, not the best thing for. Look, they can't, they can't hit him. Stone Guard veterans, beleaguered Stone Guard veterans, down to two models now shooting at him. Can he finish his cap? There's the heal. Might be able to finish it now. Predator tank, though, will have something to say about it. What about the north? Are you going after it, fellas? Looks like the heretics maybe are. Blue team have the mid. And they have the south back. Plague Champion might not get away. Oh, saved by the line of sight block, I think, from the tank shot. And gets away. Red Team will retake it immediately with the Marines. One to one. And Red Team hold on. They are behind in rosters. And look at this now. Chaos Terminators on the field for Has Dragon. Their power fists a threat to the tank, which is why it's back in the way here. Heretics might be able to get the cap. 
Can't take too many more of those shots, Mr. Terminators. And a tank moving in, I think, is a mistake as well. They're going to try and cap with CSM, I believe. Red team on the mid VP. Not a whole lot the blue team can do about it. They are decapping the north, but they're not capping it. Heretics are going to take over, maybe. Blood letters on the field for Varda. Something has to cap that, fellas. Need to force close combat on the Apothecary as well. With that Dreadnought. We have Lightning Claw Terminator Force Commander. A strange one. You have three Chaos Dreadnoughts to fight. Maybe he's thinking of fighting those um, Chaos Terminators up here. Down goes the uh, one of the Dreadnoughts. That was Has Dragons. Blue team back on the mid. Last Cannon Predator might be able to outshoot the Dreadnought here. It's going to be close. Misfired. Uh oh. Goes down. Bad luck then from the Max. Not sure what happened there. Maybe there was a line of sight issue with the generator. I think they got line of sight. Here's a heavy bolter turret. That might be a very shrewd move if he gets the last kind of upgrade. Orbital. Mostly dodge. Those terminators should be fine, as should the plague champion here. They're okay. Predator tank lives. Blue team now flooding the map. And it's their, it's their game to lose. I think they've got a lot of VPs to make up. But, um... They're going to get a triple here. And triples count you down fast. There it is. Terminator Force Commander with those claws going after some Plague Marines. And what is this? Is this Terminators or something? It is. Assault Terminators. With Thunhammers and Storm Shields getting stuck into that Dreadnought. The Dreadnought will put up a very good fight with Meta Resistance. But uh, the Terminators just have so much health. They would take it down if it was 1v1, I believe, but um, it's not 1v1. Look at that, Plague Champion's in there. That's right, run from the Plague God, fools. I haven't built power on that for ages. Blood Letters looking after the North, triple cap for the blue team still. Maybe not for long though, because the Max is on the North. Blood Letters are demons that can teleport, they have power melee weapons. And they are immune to suppression, it's worth noting. It is a last cannon turret. That thing packs a punch. We see the blood letters shifting out of reality, which seems kind of overpowered. as an ability to have. Let's just not be here anymore. They can't cap or attack while they do it, though. Plague Champions level 5. With the fetid armor. 2 to 1. Red team have the north. The dreadnought is not letting it lie. Can't decap, but can scare things off so something else can. Maybe here come the blood letters again. Vardo doing a good job there. Not just panic retreating those guys off. Kept them in play. And now they might get the cap again. Tome of subjug subjugation here from Varda Can subjugate some terminators perhaps. Or just toss the apothecary around. Oh, it'd be so fun if you could subjugate heroes. Perhaps for a shorter duration or something. 57 to 90. Has a cannon with a flush hit on the, Cur the Chaos Dreadnought. There's the Frenzied Barrage, which suppresses you. And Blood is doing a good job chopping these guys up. That guy knocked away by a special attack. Lucky to survive. Red teams do have the north. But they're losing VPs here. And to think, blue team were gonna. Varda wanted to uh, concede at some point. Terminator Force Commander looking menacing. Not doing a whole lot else. And they get this back, the red team, in the mid. Oh, it doesn't matter because the source was in the north. Blood Letters did get off the field, I think. Yes, they did. 57 to 50. 
now blue team have the VP lead. That is an Imperial Abyss from Zinch himself. Terminator's don't like standing in it, it turns out. Look at that damage. I think it's like 200 DPS heavy melee in this central circle here. It's so, so painful. 57 to 27. Single here. Those Terminators very, very bravely got a decap. But now they've run into a Curse Redmore with not a whole lot of hit points left. Teleport away. Blood Rage Redmore has decided to keep chasing them though. But as I don't know, you lose control of your Blood Rage Dreadnought. Just keep it in there to fight. You're going to win this game, I think. Ash Dragon with some words of encouragement. Nice to see. We've got a Chaos Predator here. Not moving, though. There's a triple, and there's the game. GG from Vada. Level 6 played champion. As soon as he got that sword up, it was a lot more of a threat. And he just put his head directly into his HQ to celebrate. Level 6 Sorcerer as well. Well, I didn't see him subjugate anything, but I'm sure it's happened. Terminator Force Commander with the claws. Not sure what he did really achieved with that. And Apothecary Level 4. Maybe he should have transitioned away from the Sanguine Chainsword, but um, he was busy spending resources to replace units, I suppose, and trying to counter all these freaking Dreadnoughts. The Dreadnoughts did well for the Kells team. That heavy vehicle opening to tier 2 really kind of threw red team off. And uh, they struggled from then on. Could have a good fight though. It was a good 2v2. There you have it guys. Thank you for watching. And I'll see you next time.